Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the answers for the ordering and comparing fractions worksheet and will hopefully help you through some of the tricky bits. Question one says, circle the fractions that are less than three quarters. So on the sheet we have A, B, C and D. Uh, a and D are both given uh, as fractions uh, with an written denominator. So I'll just write those ones on. So we have five tenths for A and we have ten twelfths for D. C and B are represented using those uh, images. So for, for B here we have six out of eight pieces shaded in. Six out of eight equal parts, so that fraction will be six eighths. Uh, for C we have three out of nine pieces shaded in for that, so C is three ninths. So those are our four fractions that we need to compare to three quarters. So let's go to the monster time and see which of those fractions are less than three quarters. So A is five tenths, and we need to compare that to three quarters. For each of these fractions, we're going to compare by making the denominator the same number. And that way we can compare the numerators and we can see which one has the smaller numerator. So we have tenths and fourths or quarters. So we need to find the lowest common multiple of 10 and 4. So the lowest number that both 10 and 4 can go into. And if you think about your times tables there, we know that 10 and 4 can both go into 20. So we can make both fractions 20 ths. So for 5 tenths, we've multiplied the denominator by 2 to make 10 and 10 and 20 ths. So we need to multiply the numerator by the same number. So 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. We multiply 4 by 5 to make 20. So here we're multiplying the denominator by 5. So we have to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. So 3 multiplied by 5 becomes 15. So we have 10 20 ths and 15 20 ths. So we can see that 5 tenths is smaller than 3 quarters because 10 20 ths is smaller than 15 20 ths. So A will be one fraction that we can circle. B is 6 eighths, so we need to compare that to 3 quarters. So we have eighths and quarters. We need to find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 4, and that would be 8, because 8 goes into 8 and 4 goes into 8. So we don't need to do anything to 6 eighths, we can leave 6 eighths as it is, but we need to convert 3 quarters into eighths. So we can multiply 4 by 2 to make 8, we need to multiply the numerator by the same number. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. So we have 6 eighths and 3 quarters, but 3 quarters is the same as 6 eighths. So B is exactly the same as 3 quarters, it's not less than 3 quarters, so we're not going to circle B. For C we have 3 ninths, so we're going to compare that to 3 quarters. Uh, so we're, going to, we're doing this by denominator here, so we need to find the lowest common multiple of uh, 9 and 4. And the lowest common, common multiple of 9 and 4 is 36. So we're going to make both fractions 36. So we multiply 9 by 4 to make 36. We need to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. So that becomes 12. And here we need to multiply 4 by 9 to become 36. We have to multiply the numerator 3 by 9. So 3 times 9, 27. So we have 12 36 and 27 36. So we can see that 3 ninths is less than 3 quarters. So C is another one we can circle. So D is 10 twelfths, so we need to compare that to 3 quarters. So we have twelfths and quarters, or 4, so we need to find the lowest common multiple of 12 and 4. And that would be 12. So we don't need to change 10 twelfths at all, but we do need to change 3 quarters into twelfths. 4 multiplied by 3 to make 12, so we need to multiply the numerator by 3 as well, so that becomes 9 twelfths. So we have 10 twelfths and 9 twelfths, and you can see that 10 twelfths is more than 3 quarters, it's greater than 3 quarters, so we don't, we're not going to circle D. Question 2 says, the sequence below is in ascending order. Draw a line from each fraction below to the correct place in the sequence. So we've got 2 sixths, 1 half, we have 2 missing fractions, 9 twelfths, and another missing fraction. And the fractions that we have to place in that order are 5 sixths, 2 thirds, and 6 tenths. So what we could do here is just assume 
but these three fractions are going to go in these uh, places, missing three places here correctly and just work out and compare these three fractions and then whichever is smallest put it there, whichever is next smallest there and the largest put it there. It would be good though just to make sure that we are definitely, definitely in the right place and compare all these fractions to see where 5 6 2 thirds and 6 tenths goes. So we have sixths, we have halves, we have thirds, tenths and twelfths. So if we're going to compare all of these fractions, um, just to make sure that we're definitely right in the place that we're putting them in, then we need to find the lowest common multiple of all of these numbers. And the lowest common, mul common multiple for 2, 3, 6, 10 and 12 would be 60. Think about times tables, all of these numbers go into 60. So first of all, I'm going to start with these three fractions here. I'm going to change them into 60ths. And then that way, once we change these fractions into 60ths, we'll know that they are definitely in the correct sequence. So 2 6 will become uh, 60ths. So we multiply the denominator by 10 to make 6 into 60. So we have to multiply the numerator by 10, and that will become 20 60ths. We multiply 2 by 30 to become 60. So 2 lots of 30 is 60, so we multiply the denominator by 30. And that means we have to multiply the numerator by 30 as well. So 1 multiplied by 30 is 30. 9 twelfths. We multiply 12 by 5 to make 60. 5 times 12 is 60. So we multiply the numerator by 5 as well. So that becomes 45 sixtieths. For the three fractions that we want to place into the sequence here, we're going to start with 5 sixths. So we're going to change 5 6 into 60, so we multiply 6 by 10, and that means we multiply the numerator by 10 as well, so that becomes 50 60 To change third into 60, so we're going to multiply uh, by 20. 3 lots of 20 is 60, so we multiply the numerator by 20 as well, so 2 lots of 20 is 40. And change 6 tenths into 6, yes, we multiply the denominator by 6. And that means we multiply the numerator by 6 as well. So that becomes 36 twentieths. So we've got two missing spaces here between 30 sixtieths and 45 sixtieths. With our three fractions here, we have 36 sixtieths and 40 sixtieths and 50 sixtieths. So the two fractions that are going to go here are 2 thirds and 6 tenths. So 36 sixtieths is smaller than 40 sixtieths, so this fraction will go there. 40 sixtieths will go there. 50 sixtieths is greater than 45 sixtieths, so this fraction goes here. So, putting them into that order then, in the original line of, line of fractions, uh, 6 tenths would go there. 2 thirds would go there. And 5 sixths would go there. Question three says, Ryan has three fractions. Ryan says, my third fraction has a denominator of four and is greater than both of my other fractions. What is his third fraction? Explain the answer. So the two fractions he has are six tenths and four eighths. And Ryan says that his third fraction has a denominator of four. So I'm going to write that in. And it's uh, greater than six tenths and four eighths. So... Uh, let's keep it as a fraction and say that the numerator here, let's go for three, three quarters, not one quarter or two quarters, let's go for three quarters. Uh, so how are we going to compare these three fractions to make sure that three quarters is definitely larger than six tenths and four eighths, which it should be? We need to make the, the denominator the same in all three fractions. So we need to find the lowest common multiple of four, eight and ten. And the lowest common multiple of those would be 40. So if we can make all three fractions 40, then we can compare and make sure that three, three quarters is greater than these two fractions. So we'll start with 6 tenths. We'll multiply the denominator by 4 to make 40. So we have to multiply the numerator by 4. So that will become 24 40 -ths. 4 eighths. We're going to multiply 8 by 5 to become 40. So we multiply the numerator by 5, and that becomes 20 40 -ths. For 3 quarters, we we'll multiply 4 by 10. That means we multiply the numerator by 10, and that becomes 30 fortieths. So we have 24 fortieths, 20 fortieths, and 30 fortieths. So we can see that 30 fortieths is greater than 24 fortieths and 20 fortieths. So 
uh, Ryan's third fraction is th can be three quarters. That was a video for the answers to the comparing and ordering worksheet from Classroom Secrets. If you want to watch a video tutorial link for this skill, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk and for the resources link for this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.